So here is BABA -B -A, Alibaba. This finishes at $77.76 today. That is down 10.32%. And it's gone. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. Okay, here is NIO, NEO. This finishes at $14.10 today. That is down 12.26%. So we talked about this stock last week, and it's still trending top 10 on stock twits. Major price action to the downside today. So once again, we will analyze it. So there's no company-specific news to justify this price action today, but we do have some general Chinese news that may be affecting the stock. First thing is, there are new outbreaks of the C-19 going on in China. Seems like a lot of FUD, a lot of fear about that. So Chinese stock in general are selling off because of that. And also the SEC delisted five Chinese stocks for not being in compliance. Neo was not one of those stocks, but in general, the market is pretty fearful. There's a lot of FUD about an SEC crackdown on Chinese stocks right now. Oh, and also just speculation here. There was a report that came out that Russia asked China for military assistance. China's denying it at this point. But if that turns out to be true, that would be bearish because that means that there's going to be potential Chinese sanctions. And in general, tech is selling off today. So a lot of different factors as to why the stock is going down, but no company specific news to justify it. So let's go ahead and analyze here. So first of all, we do have a double gap down. First gap down is around 2730. So that's a bullish indicator. That is telling us that the stock should eventually come back up to 2730 to fill this gap. And then today we have another gap down at around $16. So another bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should eventually come back up to $16 to fill that gap. This does appear to be a cup and handle in the making. As of right now, the bottom of the cup is $1380, the yearly low. But that's probably going to go lower. And there are multiple possible tops. It could be $2360, $2655. 3210, 3550, 4455, 4755, or even the high of 5515. So at the moment, it's bearish because there is no clear bottom of the cup yet. But longer term, it is bullish because that means the stock should come back up to one of those tops to complete the cup. And this does appear to be a bear flag slash falling knife. A lot of downside pressure here. So bearish indicator there. This can get a lot worse. And in the aftermarket here, this is pulling back down to 1390. So that's a bearish indicator. That is suggesting that tomorrow this will pull back as well. There's also a gap up at 955. So that's another bearish indicator that is suggesting that the stock may come back down to 955 to fill that gap. Looks pretty unlikely before, but now looks very possible. And if you guys want to follow along, the link to the chart is in the description down below. So right now this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 1435 and 1270. So if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be 1435, 16, 1770, 1845, 1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1905-1
unfortunately. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice. I would not do that, and I would not recommend that. Again, short term, it can get a lot worse. I think 955 is very possible where the gap is, but if slash when this hits 785, there is some pretty strong support there. So I think 955 is a pretty good entry. It may pull back below there, but really shouldn't go too much lower than that. So I don't like the entry of 1410. I would support going long at 955 and lower. And if it pulls back below 955, then you can just average down at the supports that I have there on the chart. Now, if you want to go short now financial advice, it seems like a pretty decent play. Quite honestly, you missed a lot of attendees already to the downside. Should have went short a long time ago, back in the 50s. That being said, here at 1410, there does appear to be still a lot of downside potential. It's not the greatest play because this already pulled back very hard and you'd be shorting at a relative low here. But I do think 955 is possible. So from the current price of 1410, that's still a 35% downside here. So I would say going short here would be a medium risk, high reward play. Definitely risk involved because you'd be shorting again at a relative low when this is oversold and undervalued. But it definitely can keep going lower. And there is still a lot of money to be made here on the downside. I personally wouldn't go for it. A little too risky for my liking. But this can pay off pretty big and I can't support it. So if you want to go short here, please do that at your own risk. But it does appear to be a pretty decent play. And I would say please cover at 955 once the gap fills for a 35% gain. So pretty straightforward here, guys. Long term, this is definitely a good stock. But short term, it does appear like this is not done bleeding just yet. So I would not go long right now. And shorting seems like a pretty decent play. So sorry to everyone who lost money in the stock today. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is NIO NEO. So here is BABA -A, Alibaba. This finishes at $77.76 today. That is down 10.32%. And it's gone. So here's another Chinese stock that's been getting absolutely wrecked. The high was 320. Now we're down to 78. Pretty nasty. So this did make top 10 on stock twits today. Major price action to the downside. So we're going to analyze it. Haven't talked about Alibaba in a while here. So there was a reason as to why the stock went down so much today. We did have some news and some downgrades. So let's take a look at that. So first of all, Alibaba looks to trim a workforce by up to 20%. They might lay off a fifth of their workforce. Pretty bearish. And then JP Morgan downgrades Alibaba to $65 from $180. So major downgrade there. So bearish news. Looks like some institutions pulling their money out. And in addition to that, we do have some general Chinese news. Again, there is a C-19 outbreak going on right now. Can't be good. That's bearish. Again, there's a lot of FUD with the SEC right now, cracking down on Chinese stocks. Alibaba is not one of them, but in general, Chinese stocks are selling off because of that. So yeah, overall, really bearish stuff on this stock, company specific and non-company specific. So the bleeding continues, but let's go ahead and analyze here. So first of all, we have many gap downs here, too many to count, but the highest gap down is back at 264. So that's a bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should eventually come back up to 264 to fill this gap. May take a while, but eventually it should. And then this does appear to be a giant cup and handle in the making. It's unclear where the bottom of the cup is, so it's still bearish, but there are multiple tops. It could be 129, 180, 229, 246, 275, or even the high of 320. So short term, still looks bearish because we don't know where the bottom is. But longer term, the cup and handle is bullish because that is telling us that the stock should come back up to one of those tops to complete the cup eventually. And right now, this does appear to be a falling knife slash bear flag. That would be another bearish indicator that is suggesting that the stock may continue to bleed and break out to the downside. And if you guys want to follow along, the link to the chart is in the description down below. So right now, this is sitting on the support of 77.65, which it finished around today. So if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be 81, 86, 20, 90, 95, 95, 30, 99, 60, 101, 104, 109, 113, 116, 118, 121, 123, 126, 129, 131, 136, 140, 145, 149, and then 151. There is resistance above 151, but we're not going to discuss that right now. And to the downside, there is no support because 77 is the three-year low. So I can't go back below three years on this chart. So right now at this current price, 77.76, the channels to the upside are very wide. So expect significant price action if this continues to run to the upside. However, if slash when this breaks 113 to the upside, the channel starts to narrow. So expect a significant decrease in price action if slash when this breaks 113. And to the downside, there is no support. So I can't comment on that. RSI is currently at 20. So that is very oversold, very undervalued. And this did 70 million in volume today very significant volume way above average so the sell-off today was confirmed by the volume okay guys just my opinion not financial advice and this is more or less the same as neo 
Longer term, Alibaba is a legit stock. Everyone knows this. It's the Chinese Amazon. But in the short term, this does not appear to be done selling off just yet. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice. I would not do that and I would not recommend that. And I really can't say how low this is going to go because there's no support to work off of. 77 is already a pretty good entry, but it does not appear like it's done selling off just yet. So I don't think going long is a good idea here. I would just hold off, observe the price action, see when this starts to bottom out, catch support, and then you can come in and make your move. Just be careful because it may seem like it's catching support and then it might sell off even further. So I really can't say how low this is going to go, but this should go lower and you should be able to get a way better price than 77. Now, if you want to go short, not financial advice, personally, I wouldn't do that because it's already pulled back very significantly from the high of 320. But that being said, again, this does not appear like it's done selling off just yet. And again, I don't know how low this is going to go because there's no support to go off of, but there does appear to be downside potential. So there is money to be made, just not sure how much, but it does not appear to be too risky because really shouldn't run to the upside anytime soon. So I would say going short here would probably be a low risk, medium reward play. Can't really say for sure, but just an educated guess. So 77 isn't exactly the best entry on the short side, but you should be able to make a decent amount of money here. So I can't support going short at 77. And I would say cover when this starts to catch some support, wherever that may be. So sorry to everyone who lost money in the stock today. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is BABA Alibaba. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know, diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.